Ladies and gentlemen, if I may, I would like to take you to another place in time, to Germany in 1928. A young woman tells her parents about her plans for the future. When she's done talking, her mother is in tears and her father wants her to visit the nearest mental hospital. But only three years later, at age 24, this young woman would be a celebrity and her parents would be immensely proud of her. The name of this young lady is Ellie Beinhorn and her dream was to become a pilot. Ellie always had a way of dealing with adversities. All her life she would face obstacles, restrictions, setbacks, crashes and tragic blows of fate. But in the end she would always overcome them with the same ease and determination the which a pilot leaves the ground and takes to the air. In 1928, after she had decided she wanted to become a pilot, she inquired at a local aero club at her hometown Hannover. This club wouldn't take a woman on as a student pilot, so she had to keep on looking to fly, find the right flight school for her. Airlines at that time wouldn't hire her as a pilot, so she made money from flying at air shows. Her big moment came in 1931, when she took part in an expedition to Africa. She flew over 4,300 miles in a small monoplane, which we wouldn't even call air survey today. Once she crash landed and walked through the desert for four days, but she was happy. Flying over distant countries, exploring the world, this was the life she had always dreamt of. And she could not get enough of it. The very same year, she set off again to fly around the world and again alone. And this was just the beginning. In 1933, she flew from Berlin to Cape Town. In 1935, she flew from Germany to Turkey and back in one day, traveling more than 2,100 miles a new record at the time. In 1936, she set her sights on yet another record, to overfly three continents on one day. On August 6, 1936, she took off in Damascus in the morning hours and flew via Cairo and Athens back to Berlin. She arrived at Berlin Tempelhof in the evening hours, having flown 2,300 miles. During her journeys, she made many friends all over the world. She always felt part of a community that is larger than states, countries and nationalities. The community of aviators. During her long life, she has not only seen aviation evolve, she has actively advanced it. Today we are celebrating her 100th birthday. And for me as a pilot, it is a pleasure and a distinct honor to welcome Miss Ellie Beinhardt.